Jacobs off the main grass. So, long time no vlog, and, and that's been down mostly to the fact that uh, my laptop that I was using to do all the editing uh, died. and tell me then deciding to build my own uh, desktop PC with a bit more oomph um, so that's done now um, and we are 10 days before Christmas so I can't remember where I left off uh, the last vlog it's been absolutely ages but uh, what have I done? Where have I been? What have I been up to? So working, parenting, uh, walking up Snowden uh, with my eldest. Uh, went to the south of France on the motorbikes, on the KTM. Uh, a lot of work stuff. where it all started in the shitty winter just on the commute it has been a long long time since we've even had a, a dry day now I don't mind the cold but oh god what's going on here a dry day would do to go out for a ride. I mean this is no fun. Cold, wet, minimal lean angles. It's no fun for anyone. So I've been on the ground mostly. Um, Oh yeah, I went to uh, Mercedes-Benz World and uh, that was great fun. I didn't get to drive the big a uh, AMGs though. I had my eye on the SLS, the Goldwing thingamajug. But uh, I got to drive uh, a E-Class um, and a big 4x4 thingy. It was alright. But um, it's so easy and safe compared to riding motorbikes. One of the uh, the guy, that, one of the other guys that was on the day uh, was remarking how I was driving single-handedly in the jeep. And it's like, well, you know, we're going about five miles an hour. What, you know, I've got a cage around me with crumple zones and loads of other different things. You know, what it really is, the worst is going to happen. I'm not going to suddenly spin out of control. Um, and then even when we're on the track, yeah, it's okay. But, you know, the cars just aren't that fast uh, or exciting compared to a bike. If I wanted to mince about, I'd have one, but there's just nowhere really in the UK that it's worth having a, a car. Thank you. It's a fun vehicle. You know, I don't live anywhere. I don't live in the area, in an area that, that can be done. Um, on the bike, you can. You've got more overtaking power, or more overtaking space, more space to filter. It's just a better proposition. Machines back back together, and uh, being able to look look back on some of the non-biking 
footage uh, of me and my, my family uh, has been really great. You know, and uh, all, the Christ all this Christmas stuff, watching them enjoy it and their faces, it uh, brings a whole nother level of enjoyment. Work-wise, still doing the same old shit. Uh, for a little bit more money, um, enough to keep me there for a bit longer, uh, but very unexciting. Uh, I've been looking at doing some mentoring, looking, you know, helping other people out. I'm just, I'm really just looking to do something of value. I overtake this fucking mini. And all the pointers are to like burning out. I'm not particularly in, uh, infused by what I do. Um, no, I know more the Everybody else is doing the same or similar shit day after day. But you get into a point in your career where you maybe start off doing something you enjoy and then people see you're good at it and pull you in other different areas. So, you know, for example, if you're a designer, you'll be designing logos or comic strips or uh, CAD designs for uh, the automotive industry. Something I don't know, whatever it is, and then you become a manager, or somebody decides that uh, you'll be good in front of a client, and then um, you know, the, the ratio changes. And that's what's been done, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck to the point where I like the money. Um, it affords me and my family the lifestyle. But it's shit. Um, so what do you do? There's not going to be anything that pays as well. Uh, so I'm stuffed. But otherwise, um, yeah, I'm dying to get out on the KTM. Maybe, uh, even just to ride in the R1 down to Mercedes Benz World. Being on a big bike again first. I need to get that MOT'd. Uh, those bikes are stuck in the garage with Optimates on them. Uh, one's got an Optimate, the other one's got some piece of shit going. It's supposed to be a pretty cool road. Um, let's see what we can do. I've never been to Albania, I've never been to Eastern Europe at all. Um, and I'm just going to get a pocket. Another idea is um, ride down to the Spanish MotoGP. Uh, the guys are looking at um, ferry crossings for that. And then I, def I definitely, definitely need to do a track day this year in the KTM. Um, go to KTM. Yeah, this is fucking soul destroying. Just riding this fucking thing. Rubbish. But they're sorting shit on the roads. And uh, I don't really give a fuck about this. I don't really want to have to clean shit in the cold. Okay, oh, he's going to overtake, isn't he? Come on, mate, do you want to push? Fucking... Oh, this is great. For the commute, there's, this has been brilliant. I can leave it in London. Touchwood hasn't got stolen yet. I'm gonna have to clean the fucking thing. Uh, I 
could flip it, I flipped my first wheelie and thankfully it was on this uh, not only uh, the other bikes um, it was relatively cheap uh, I fixed it myself um, so I've got a video on that that I'll edit and post up at some point uh, it's pretty straightforward the worst part was getting the footrest off um, but this is tough if I was going to be doing any more messing about I'd probably uh, get a cage and all that shit but then you're then you have to mess about so I'm riding this around with a cage on then uh, it's like yeah it's like uh, if you're a member of the Star Boys they all remember those stunt team with their uh, with fur all, all over the fairings yeah any you like to come with me yeah that's it go on yeah Audi on the bus lane yeah Yes, I went. What oh, fucking hell? I hate when it does that. Piece of shit. Mm. If you're not firm with this, it does jump out a second. But it's been totally reliable. And I definitely recommend it. Social there. I'm worried about these um, sound cameras that are coming in. What I could do is, if anybody knows, um, if you can appeal against Yulas, if your bike makes less than a certain uh, level of these gases, CO2, whatever, then you can get a letter. Has anybody done successfully done that with uh, a 2005 5VYR1? I would love to. Yeah, one in town without paying twelve pound fifty a day for it. The alternative is uh, I suppose to uh, hide the plate and risk a hundred quid fine. should have done especially for this um for the winter and when it shit is left the bloody rear hugger on or the rear mudguard thing in my jigging above 
because wherever I go, I get shit all up my back, all up the back of my helmet. Oh! about these conditions riding the, the Grom is I don't have to really worry about traction control as long as I'm not riding through leaves no this isn't going to spin up I've got on the R1 which of course has got nothing and uh, there were a couple of times when especially going over the central uh, line the reservation that it got all a bit slippery wouldn't happen on a KTM if I want to take it out, clean it all the time, leave it in London where it will get neat. No. Yeah, it'll be quite interesting though to see how the how the traction control sorted all that out. Still dubious. Um, I didn't like the shitty ABS on it to turn that off. So fucking dangerous ABS man. for a spirited ride, for the fucking thing just to, to pulsate on and off. Fuck that. Not a fan. Yeah, we don't need that in it. Shit, I'm hitting this. Yeah, so if anyone knows anything about the R1 and you guys are if we can get around it, do let me know. Because uh, it is one of like a uh, black marks against it in regards to keeping it. I fucking had it six years, you know, maybe it's just time to get some car so I'll get rid of it. I just want to win the lottery and buy Mercedes-Benz World, get rid of any anything that's not on AMG floor and fill it with motorbikes and uh, probably air-cooled Porsches, like the 1974 3.0-litre uh, 9.11 turbo that me and my boys made out of Lego. Sweet machine. But to underground. <laughs> I need to do a oil change on this. And it could do with uh some fresh brake fluid.
one funny thing. <laughs> the um, sorry, mate. The uh, post I put on Instagram a while ago of the Panigale broken down. <laughs> it wasn't that it was it had, there was any problem with the bike. It was the uh, operator, an operator fault, where mate put uh, <laughs> he put fucking diesel in it, and he had to wait by the side of the road in the end to think about five hours. Oh, how we laughed! Come on, what is this fucking bellend? Up we go, badonk. I suppose that's one benefit of a really ridiculously soft suspension is up and down up and down curbs I'm starving. Starving. By the time I get into work, I would be alright for lunch. But now in town, or where there's traffic, look, the dry roads. Fuck! Always, uh, always, zivay. Always. Very, oh, it's so shit riding in winter. This has turned into fatness. It's too cold for me jogging around. Um, yeah, so bored to that. I'm just putting on my winter coats. It's horrible. Fucking guts. Can't, it takes so difficult to get rid of. Bored. 